the, uh, the Notre Dame defensive front? I mean, they definitely have some good players up front. They're fast, athletic. Uh, they're, they're definitely solid. What are you guys taking this uh, this time uh, to, uh, to to work on and, and improve right now, leading up to when you really get hardcore into, into preparing for Notre Dame? Uh, we're just going back to the fundamentals, the stuff that we work in in spring and early August. We kind of do that every year, starting off in the bowl season. It's first steps. It's going back to the sleds and the shoots and driving off the ball, staying low, just the starting basics. So there are a lot of uh, learning points for, to take from, uh, from the Big 12 championship game? Oh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of learning points from every game. Like, there, just, there are a lot of things from that game that we could have fixed and should have fixed, but it's on to the next one. You guys were on the, on the cusp of a potential college football playoff berth. Didn't come through. How tough is it to get reacclimated, re-motivated for, for the Fiesta Bowl? I don't think it's hard for this team to stay motivated. I mean, we play for each other at the end of the day, and this game is no different. We're going to play for each other, and we're going to come out. I know you guys are looking forward to Notre Dame, but just on that Baylor game, Coach Gundy said that you guys didn't protect Spencer well enough for him to have the performance you needed to. What did you guys take away from film study and all that? I mean, there's there's a lot of fingers pointing at Spencer when, in all reality, they probably should be pointing at us. But it is what it is, but I think that's kind of just how it goes watching football. A lot of people don't quite understand what they're saying and like, oh, Spencer, but it, it's not like that. Like, we could, we should have played better up front. Hunter, I know you have faith in the guys that play next to you regardless. You have to in your position. But... Uh, obviously, Josh will be back, and what if Danny can get back? How how much are you looking forward to maybe having everybody back in back like uh, the offensive line was during the, the, the run in October and November? I mean, of course, I want Danny and Josh healthy for it. I mean, they're seniors. It's their last game. It's their last chance, but no matter who's next to me, I have confidence in them, and it, it's going to feel the same.